Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, aka Steve, and welcome back to another BBR battle, week eight. Blah, 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 BBR, BBR battle. Yeah, that's why I got. Yep, English, my first language, I promise. Against JB Westside and the Las Vegas Cinderaces. This video brought to you in part by Fight Boy. Did I get the right side? I'm checking. I got. Nope, well, it was this time. Fight Boy Apparel. Uh, they decided to sponsor me and give me stuff. To promote them so obviously I'm gonna promote them all the time they sent me a hoodie that it's too warm to wear right now so once it gets a little like a cooler I guess I guess I could put it on and then as it just it gets hot I could take it off but then I want to risk exposing some of my midriff and the video becomes about something completely different than the actual battle and that you know I don't want that going up against the Las Vegas Cinderace I have Sylveon, Dragapult, Quagsire, Weezing, uh, Zorark, and Ferrothor, my opponent has Zerora, Talonflame, Primarina, Crocodile, Garbodor, and Curum. Now, the main offensive threats I have to watch out for with him, uh, I think, are Zerora because of his unpredictability. Uh, and I guess Curum could kind of go either physical or special. He's got a solid move pool and solid stats in both. Uh, but I got uh, a solid defensive core of Weezing, Quagsire, and Ferrothorn. Um, now... Uh, if you guys watched last week's battles, this is the kind of the the final game of my, uh, or th those were the final games of my my old team building strategy. This, this is the, this is the first this is the first game of my new team building strategy of trying to build kind of make my opponent deal with what I have offensively. Uh, so you know, let's uh, let's yeah, my my trainer cards still the same. So let's see uh, how I can do with that. I guess right. That's, that's why we're here. He's going to leave with Zoro, which I kind of assumed he would. I'm going to leave with Sylveon to put immediate pressure on him and just hit something with a Hyper Voice uh, really hard. And I, if, you know, see if he's Life Orb, see if he's Scarfed, see if he's Specs. I can live whatever he wants. He, he does Volt Switch, so that does not do a lot of damage to me at all, which leads me to believe he actually might be more physically offensive than especially offensive because I am offensive Sylveon, and something is going to get hit with Hyper Voice, and it's going to be Garbodor. Which, I mean, whatever, that's a, that's a lot of damage. That, that does a, almost enough, almost enough that I could, you, you know, hit him with another, another Hyper Voice. But I don't want to risk uh, losing Sylveon early. So now I'm debating on what I want to switch to. Is he going to go for a poison move? Is he going to get get up hazards? I don't want to risk him uh, getting up hazards, or not getting up hazards and me losing Sylveon. So I switch out into Weezing as he gets up uh, one layer of spikes. So my Weezing is kind of built. It has Psy Beam just to hit, uh, you know, to hit this thing. And, I you know, I got a Will-O-Wisp and, you know, to maybe just burn something if he wants to bring in, I don't know, maybe bring, I don't think he'd bring in a Crocodile on a Weezing, but if it happens to be Crocodile against a Weezing. But I know that I need, because he has Crocodile, I know that I need to keep Weezing alive because of Levitate. So I can't just play willy-nilly with Weezing's existence, you know? So he goes back into Zorora, to t I guess, to see what move I'm going to go with, uh, and take a side beam. Because he went in uh, on his... He went... He switched Zorora into a Weezing. Um, that made me think that maybe he's actually not physical, because the will of his chance is great. But he just goes for a Volt Switch, and now I'm going to kind of see if he is choice in some fashion, because uh, if he is, then he's got to switch out. Uh, and that makes... You know, get that kind of gives me a free Scald. If I want to go... If I want to go that route... I wish I had, you know, Quagsire was a mod that could run hazards, but, uh, or had hazards and doesn't, so I can't get my hazards up yet. So he goes just back into his Garbodor, and I just go for a Scald, and, uh, now I don't really know what I want to do if I want to just Scald again. I think I just want to Scald again and try to kill it. I don't, you know, I, I don't know what he's planning on here with Garbodor, so I could go back into Weezing, but he just goes for Explosion! So, and that doesn't really do all that much to me. It's about half to me. So he loses Garbodor, uh, his only, it looks like his only hazard setter. So he's only able to get up one layer of hazards, which is, I'm, I guess, pleased with. So he is going to go back, he's going to go now into his uh, Primarina. And I know that uh, my Ferrothorn is going to beat any, it doesn't matter what he has on Primarina. It does not matter what four moves, uh, Ferrothorn is going to take them. So it doesn't matter what he has. Uh, if he's got Focus Blast, like, that's not a big deal. It's just, it's fair, this Ferrothorn is designed to beat Primarina. And, uh, it's my switching to Primarina every single time. So, uh, I just want to get Rocks up because I know that he's, he's just, he's not staying in. And if he does, like, I'm, it's just, it's not gonna benefit him all that greatly. So he does go into Zorora. Uh, and I'm gonna be able to get my Stealth Rocks up. So I'm happy with that. I got Hazards up. He's got Town Flames. So I'll be able to see, you know, if he's Heavy Duty Boots. Uh, and I'll be able to deal damage. Especially if he's trying to turn with Zorora. I'll be able to, um, you know, kind of, 
deal damage to things on the way in. That's how hazards work. I'm just explaining to you how hazards work. That's that's what I'm doing, I guess. So I, I really don't know. I don't know. He's got, like, fire punch. He's got a lot of options. I just go into Quagsire, and he actually just goes for a, a close combat. So I'm glad that I switched out when I did. Because uh, now I know he's now, but now I even believe he's probably more physical. He's kind of got a volt switch from momentum, but he's probably got close combat. He probably has something like um, I imagine, like a play rough for Dragapult, and then uh, you know maybe fire punch uh, for no, probably not fire punch. Um, or and his last move could be I don't know. He's got trick. I don't. I don't. I'm trying to remember my thought process in the moment, but I, I figured because he had close combat, he's probably more you know just selling out to be a physical attacker. So he's actually going to predict my switch into Ferrothorn, and that's disappointing because uh, he goes into Town Flame, so he's able to momentum on that play. Uh, the good news is I have max defense wheezing that does not give a shit about Town Flame. Like, do I doesn't give a shit about Town Flame. No, wheezing. There you go. Doesn't give a sh- Weez Yeah, do it. Doesn't You don't give a shit about Town Flame. Do it! Okay, so I had to coax my past self a little bit into making that move, but he doesn't give a shit about Town Flame. Uh, he's gonna go for Swords Dance, and have. I don't know if I've mentioned this. I, I don't know, but... So, my Weezing doesn't give a shit about Talonflame. Plus two, no fear at all. Weezing's gonna stand in there and just... Look at that face. Just the face of apathy staring in the face of Talonflame. Talonflame was once great with Gale Wings, but now they nerfed that ability. Talonflame sucks now, and Weezing's gonna prove it. Weezing's been around for almost two decades. Talonflame, a newcomer. Plus four Talonflame! Guess what, Talonflame? Weezing still does not give a shit about you! Fuck you, Talonflame! Get the fuck out of here! Go back to X and Y where you fucking belong, okay? Get out of Sword and Shield! You are neither as powerful as a sword or as strong as a shield. You deserve nothing in your life, and you will get nothing in your life. And Weezing, have I mentioned, he does not give a shit about you, Talonflame. He does not care at all about your existence. He cares not for your hopes, your dreams. He does not care about your plans or your schemes. He does not care that you want to attack him with all of your might because Weezing does not give a shit about Talonflame. Now get the fuck out of this battle, Talonflame. You don't belong here. I threw up 6-4. And uh, Weezing, while almost dead, I still need to keep it alive because... Uh, Crocodile. I don't want Crocodile to be able to just spam Earthquakes. That's not what I want, so... Uh, I, and I have Ferrothorn that's at mostly all of its HP. Uh, so I am pleased with, with how you know, what Ferrothorn is going to be able to accomplish. Did I not... I think I... Uh, yeah, so this actually should be 5-4. It's not 6 because... Because... Is it? No. No, you know what? I I got too caught up in that rant. I forgot what I was doing. So I go into Ferrothorn, and now I'm thinking, do I want to get later spikes up? Is he going to stay in? Is he going to go into Zorora? If I get later spikes up, I can... You know, that might be helpful in the long run, but I definitely want to get damage on that Zorora because it's so unpredictable on what it can do. So I hit it with another Gyro Ball, and... Uh, so now at this point, it's getting to the point now where I... I, I need to keep Ferrothorn around, so I have to carefully choose what I switch into this Zorora. Uh, and it looks like Quagsire is going to be the one that's going to face the wrath of Zorora. Uh, and I do and I do end up seeing Play Rough, so I know he's got Play Rough, Close Combat, Volt Switch, and his last move, it, yeah, could be a lot of things. Could be a lot of things. So, I'm now I know he's probably locked into Play Rough, um, but I go into Zorora, or Zorark, uh, trying to... No, do it. Just do it. No, is it Ferrothorn? Is it actually okay? I go into actual Ferrothorn. I think later in the game I do the same. I do. So I go into Ferrothorn, and uh, I am getting. You know, I wish I had Leak Seed on this squad. I really do. So he's locked into, you know, play rough, and I know he's got to switch. It's got to be either he's got to take damage with Crocodile, he's got to take damage on Primarina, or he's got to take damage on Curum. And I don't think he wants to take damage really on any of those things. So I thought about going for a Spikes on what he might like on a, on a possible switch. Uh, but I thought there was a chance that he might just not want any of the other mons to take damage because of the fact also that I have, you know, we, and that does, that does a lot of damage. Like, that is a lot. And that, now we're in a range where, you know, if he gets too out of control with Moxie, um, I can just, you know, bring in Iron Barb, Ferrothorn, and that'll be that. But I don't know, you know, I, I don't want him to just... 
superpower me and just end my existence. Uh, so I, I know I need to keep Ferrothorn around, and he's just going to go for a knockoff, which is going to almost do enough to uh, frighten me, but it doesn't. He did, did, I am unfrightened. He's going to switch out. He, he knows that he's going to need that thing at the end. You know, it's probably Scarf too, so... Uh, I think now he's got two Scarfers. That's, that's what I imagine. So I go, uh, you know, Zoro goes down, and I got Sylvie on here. No longer Specs was unfortunate, but you know, I can't hit that as hard as I wanted to anymore. But uh, he's now going to go into the first time all game. It's going to be Kyurem. And I, uh, I'm an offensive, I'm an offensive Sylveon, and I, but I also know that I, um, I also know that I'm getting to the point now where at the end of the battle I kind of just want to have Dragapult just kind of clean up. So I want to try to get to the point where Dragapult can clean up. And uh, I also know that I Kieran was so unpredictable that I didn't want to switch in someone like Ferrothorn because I just I didn't know you know I know that I need Ferrothorn to pre like a hundred percent at least to switch in probably one more time on it. So you know I but now so here I go into Zork and um, I wasn't anticipating that he would know that I am Zork. Uh, I was hoping he wouldn't know, but if I went for like a Sludge Bomb, that would have been like the sickest play ever. Um, but I thought that, you know, he might not, he might not want to switch just because, you know, uh, maybe he thinks he could take a hit and maybe some kind of assault vest set. But I also knew that even if he went into Primarina, I still have Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn is going to be able to take anything that it wants, but instead he goes into, this is Crocodile. Now, I need to try to decide what he's going to do. If, I know he can't go for Earthquake. So I'm just going to go into Weezing here, as he probably has to knock off. That's going to allow me to go into Zorark. And then I'm going to make a decision with Zorark. I'm going to have to decide, am I going to predict him to switch, knowing he's got plus one already, uh, and I have no more unaware mon, or am I going to predict him to stay in? Now, if I predict him to stay in, uh, and I go for a... Um, you know, Focus Blast or something like that, and I miss, that's trouble. If I, um, if I predict him to stay in and go to Focus Blast and he goes into Prime Marina, then he can kind of do this dance again, uh, where he can, like, double back out into, as I go into Ferrothorn, back into this, and then it'll be me, the same situation where I'm gonna have to now, something else is gonna have to die to knock off. So I actually predict him to switch, and he lives at, like, 1 HP, and that was absolutely fucking huge! Because because he lived at one, so because I got that prediction wrong, um, he was able to live. That's a lot, that knocked off my Zorak's choice scarf. Because uh, my Zorak's no longer has a choice scarf, I have my only option to killing this thing. And he, like he has to stay in now, and he just has to die to Iron Barbs. So I have to pretty much sacrifice Ferrothorn in order to get this thing out of here. I no longer have choice scarf uh, Zorak left. And all he has left after this is um, Ikurum and Primarina. So Primarina, which I had a switch in for with Ferrothorn, that's gone now. But I know that my I have Steel Wing that can do about half to a Primarina. So I'm just going to have to get lucky with a roll. Uh, so I thought that I made the right play there with Zora going for the Sludge Bomb. Because I just didn't want him to go into Primarina. And, or didn't want him to go into Primarina there. And that, I also thought that there was a, a chance I could kill it as well. But I didn't want him to... There well, it was not a high chance I killed it, right? There was not a very high chance at all. But there was a chance, and I know that if I missed Focus Blast, that would have sucked. Uh, I also know that if I... If he went into Primarina and I didn't Focus Blast, then he could... He probably... Then I would have had to decide, okay, is he going to double from Primarina back into Crocodile? And if I go into, you know, should I stay in and just go again? But Steel Wing does... Fuck! God fucking damn it! Fucking... Fucking one O's! What the... Fuck! Come on! I'm two and six minus six. That is unreal. That is like, yeah. I'm, oh my god! This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. That one decision with the fucking Zorark. And the thing is, too, he probably only lived at like one HP. I think I played that game so well, so well, and it came down to one with the one move at the end. And even though I chose wrong, fucking surprise, Steve chooses wrong, Steve mispredicts, even though that happened, I still had a chance to kill it, and I could not even get the kill. Fuck! Fuck!